So Heidi, we're here in beautiful Verulamium Park, beautiful green area. St Albans is surrounded by lovely countryside. Why do we need a project like Wild of St Albans? Well, globally and in Hertfordshire, across this district, we know that wildlife is in trouble. We've seen species decline across all of the habitats that we have. So what we have at the moment in terms of our parks and green spaces and our gardens, our refuges, our, our nature reserves, it's just not enough to halt these declines. So we have to make more space for wildlife if we are to try and reverse these declines and, and increase biodiversity. My role as project officer is to support any landowner to make changes, to make positive changes for wildlife. So the key messages are that there's something that we can all do, no matter who we are and what patch we have. Can you give us some examples of the places you've already got started with Wild of St Albans? So very excitingly we have just released 150 water voles into the River Ver, which is absolutely fantastic. This particular project is a lovely example of the sort of projects that we're trying to champion with Wild of St Albans, where it took a lot of different landowners and partners working together to make it happen and achieve this wonderful outcome for, for local wildlife. We've also set up um, some themed working groups, some themed wilder working groups around water, trees and meadows, where we've invited local stakeholders, interest groups and individuals to come together and come up with a series of, of projects or actions that as a group we want to take forwards and deliver to try and increase uh, biodiversity. So Heidi, how do we find out more and how can we get involved? So we have our project web pages already set up at the moment, so there's lots of information that you can find out there about taking action yourself or other local groups that you can get involved with. School communities we're working with creating a specific resource pack to help them improve their school grounds. We've also set up a Facebook community group that you can join where you can find inspiration, ask questions, shout about what you are doing, anything to do with creating more habitat and making more space for wildlife. So it's clear that this is going to benefit wildlife tremendously around St Albans, but will there be anything to benefit the people of St Albans in this project? Well, we cannot forget that if we are increasing biodiversity, you know, we are increasing our opportunities to engage with nature, to see, to enjoy the nature that we have around us. And that, that is good for us too. You know, research has shown that undoubtedly the more time we spend in natural environments, you know, the better it is on our, on our health and well-being. If we're making St Albans a wilder place where we have these opportunities to enjoy our local wildlife more, then that will also be very good for us. Thank you.